Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. Let's jump into finding the equation of a parabola. So I'm given two bits of information. I know where the focus is, and I know where the directrix is. And one thing I like to do when I'm given parameters is actually just make a really rough sketch of this information. This will help me determine things like the vertex and kind of which direction the parabola is facing. So let's see, I have a focus at 7, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so it looks like my focus is right there, 7, 8. And it says the directrix is at a negative 3. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Let's draw in that directrix. All right. And I know that the focus has to be on the inside of my parabola. So my basic sketch so far looks something like that. So I know where the parabola is headed. Now this also helps me determine one more thing. This will help me determine the location of that vertex. And it should be halfway between the directrix and the focus. So let's see, the focus has an x value of 7. The directrix is at negative 3. That means this has to be at 2. Eight. Notice how 2, 8 is exactly half, halfway between the point 7, 8 and the negative 3. All right, so now that we know this, we can start with our template for a parabola. And since it's on its side, this template looks like a y minus h squared equals 4p x minus k. The h and the k will represent my vertex, and the p-value here is the distance between the vertex and the focal point. So let's go ahead and drop in our pieces. My vertex is located at 2, 8. Make sure you match your 8, that's a y. And we'll put the 2 with the x. Now the distance between this vertex and the focal point looks like it's exactly 5 away, so we'll put in a 5. And now we basically just simplify this. So let's see, 4 times 5, 20. And we're done. So this equation right here, y minus 8 squared equals 20 times x minus 2, represents the equation of our parabola. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.